Hello, and um, welcome to a quick update on the insolvency aspects that relate to directors when dealing with very difficult circumstances. Let me first introduce you to Ambuja Bose. She leads the insolvency recovery and restructuring team at VWV Solicitors. Uh, let me introduce you to Ian Roberts, who heads up the insolvency and restructuring team at Moore Kingston Smith. Thank you for joining us today. Um, Ian, I thought I'd uh, start off by asking you, it's a very difficult time to be a director um, of any company at the moment, but particularly those companies that are involved in the hospitality or retail sectors. What would be the top tip that you would give a director of a company in these challenging times? Okay, well, that's a very good question. I think um, when this all started some sort of nine months ago, I don't think anyone could have expected we'd still be in pretty well the same position as we are now, possibly a worse position. There's been a lot of government support and that has enabled companies to continue along a path of not really understanding where they're gonna go and where they're gonna come out the other end. And as a result of that, I think companies have needed to try and find a lot of funding. I mean, cash flow is always the most important thing. As they say, cash is king. And managing your cash flow and getting advice is always the two most important things I can tell any director to do at any time. Um, I think it's particularly um, focused at the moment on the fact that, you know, it's taking a lot longer to get to the other side and therefore businesses, particularly in the hospitality and retail sector, are looking to find ways of funding shortfalls um, from the huge um, reductions in income compared to perhaps the support that they're getting on the expenses side. I'm trying to fund the gap. And they've gone to bounce back loans and C-bills loans, which have been quite easily attainable. Um, but my concern is that directors are taking those loans without really giving much thought as to how they pay them back, when they pay them back. So if you were a director that was looking to take on additional funding, what types of things should you be looking for to do with that funding? Well, I think when the, um, particularly the bounce back loans were provided by the government via the banks, um, it was made particularly easy for the um, banks to lend the money far easier than it would be under normal circumstances. You basically sign a form and you receive up to £50,000. Now that's all well and good, but as a director, you are always accountable for the debt that the company takes on. And um, I think a lot of the time, many directors have not really counted the debt that comes from a bounce back loan into their numbers of their, their figures for insolvency or looking at their liabilities because they don't believe they're ever personally liable for these debts and it may be that they don't have to give any form of guarantee and indeed the loan may not be repayable for some time but that's still a loan it's still on the balance sheet and it still needs to be paid back at some time and the directors particularly when insolvent have a fiduciary duty to the company's creditors and it's important to note that when insolvent, that fiduciary duty does change from a duty to preserve the company to um, make sure that they don't make creditors um, worse off as a result of their actions. That's a, that's a really interesting point that you've mentioned there on, on fiduciary duties and, and the responsibilities that directors have. Um, one of the things that could happen if a company goes into a form of insolvency is that an insolvency practitioner could take action against those directors for misfeasance or breach of fiduciary duties. Um, are there any particular things that you would suggest that a director does to avoid being found liable for misfeasance? Actually, yes, and they're, they're pretty obvious when I mention them. Um, when you take a loan out, do think about when you can pay it back. Think about how you can pay it back. Understand the viability and the future of your business as much as you can. Write it down. Hold board minutes. Make sure there's evidence of your train of thought. I think as liquidators, it's very easy, and I'm a liquidator, so I understand this from the other side, to um, 
criticize a director who increases their creditor base by i.e. taking on a loan, not having any thought as to whether they can pay it back. Now, normally when you take out a loan, you go through huge amounts of paperwork trying to persuade a bank why it's a perfectly good valid reason for taking on a loan. And therefore the due diligence is sort of there and it, it's, it's understood by both the bank and by you because you've submitted cash flows, forecasts, and there's all that evidence trail to understand why you made that decision to take the loan. And then if you don't repay it, okay, there can still be criticism of the director, but at least at the time they took the loan out, there is some sort of rationale for why they did it. At the moment with these bounce back loans, there's no rationale. And in my view, that's a clear misfeasance. Now the issue here, and, and Ambuja will touch on this in a bit, um, is that although the bounce back loan has no personal guarantee attached to it, if the director is found to be misfeasant, the penalty for misfeasance for a director is personal liability for the, for the amount of debt that they've incurred and the loss to the creditors. So to be honest, there is personal guarantees involved as a director. It's just under another guise. Thank you, Ian. That's been really helpful. So for me, the key takeaway for directors is if they are looking to apply for loans and funding, they need to document their decision making and they need to be really careful as to how they use those funds in their business going forward. If any directors have any questions, please do feel free to get in touch with either Ian or myself.